Billy's Place, the vibe is light and breezy. Billy's Place, it's a virtual speakeasy. My home place, can't believe it's been a year. Time to grab a libation from the shelf. Have whatever you want, you gotta make it yourself. Sit back, relax, I'm very glad you're here. A musical trip, nothing complicated, and if you tip, that's appreciated. Good fellowship with no mask on our face. From apartment five across the park, singing and swinging till it gets dark. Don't worry about finding a place to park, just park it at Billy's place. Park it at Billy's place. Well, who would have thought this day would have ever come? This is the one year anniversary of Billy's place. It looks like a party, doesn't it? Oh my God, my friends, Janet and my producer, Doug, we've been decorating all, well, the last 30 minutes, trying to get it all lined up and looking like a party. I'm so glad you're here to help me celebrate one year of shows here at Billy's place. Tonight we got kind of something special. I'm gonna tell you about it in just a minute, but for right now, just park it at Billy's Place. Good evening, it's Thursday, May the 6th. Oh dear Lord. Okay, last year on May the 7th was the very first show of Billy's Place, also my partner and my producer Doug's birthday. His birthday is tomorrow, but we're celebrating the one year anniversary of Billy's Place and Doug's birthday tonight. And I'm so glad you're here for this show. This show is kind of special because what I asked people to do was send me some of their favorite songs from shows that I did over the past uh, year, year, oh, year. It's so weird to say that. It has been a year. Um, and so um, I got some great requests, and I picked a dozen that were fantastic. And what I did was I reached out to uh, the people that requested them, and, and they very kindly filmed little messages and uh, little, you know, just little sweet videos uh, to tell me the requests, why they liked it, and uh, what you're going to see as it goes on. So uh, I'm not going to spend too much time belaboring that point. I'm so glad you're here. I've got my favorite drink, a uh, vodka martini with olives uh, tonight to celebrate. Mm. So good. Um, and uh, as always, the merchandise, we have merchandise in the merch store, which if you go to billystritch.com, there is a link that will take you to get the T-shirts and the mugs and the hats and all the stuff that we have. Um, I talk about that every week, and we've got such a big show to get to right now that I just want to go right on ahead with it. The very first request that we have is from a childhood friend of Doug's. Uh, Doug actually has known this couple, was at their wedding, and is that right, Doug? But you were, th right. you were at their wedding, and you've, uh, was she, now, now, what else now? Was she, uh, well, you've just known her forever. Yeah. They're great people. They watch Billy's Place. They love cocktails just as much as we do. Oh, they, they're the ones that bought the cheese board, and you can be the one that buys the cheese, cheese board as well. That's right. They sent us the picture. Was it around a fire pit kind of? Yes. It was their anniversary. Okay, Doug is filling in the blanks for me. Anyway, uh, they have a special message to, uh, to impart for Billy. and For me, Billy, that's me. For Hi, Billy. Hi, Doug. Happy one year anniversary on Billy's Place from Don and Betsy Schaubacher. We The Way You Look Tonight, composed by Jerome Kern and made most famous by Frank Sinatra. Thank you, Billy. Thank you, Doug. Happy birthday, Doug. So this is their song, Jerome Kern's The Way You Look Tonight. I did this in episode 12 back on July 23rd, and I'm happy to do it again. One of my favorite Songs by Jerome Kern and Dorothy Fields. Someday When I'm awfully low And the world is cold 
I will feel a glow just thinking of you and the way you look tonight. Oh, but you're lovely with your cheeks so soft and your smile so warm. There is nothing for me but to love you and the way you look tonight. With each word your tenderness grows, tearing my fears apart. Touches my foolish heart. Lovely, never ever change. Keep that breathless charm. Won't you please arrange it? Cause I love you just the way you look tonight. tenderness grows tearing my fears apart and that smile that wrinkles your nose touches my foolish heart lovely never ever change Keep that breathless charm. Won't you please arrange it? Cause I love you just the way you look tonight. Just the way you look Well, that's a good request and a great way to start off the show of requests tonight. Thank you, Betsy. Thank you, Don, for that wonderful request and your wonderful well wishes to me and Doug for the anniversary of our show. So uh, the next song that I'm going to do is for my good friend Todd Foreman. Todd comes to see Jim Caruso and I all the time at Birdland, and quite often he comes to see us when we're at the Carlisle. We've known him a long, long time, and he's an unabashed fanalo, as he is about to tell you. Now, I did this song that he's going to request on episode number seven back on June the 18th, and it was a happy birthday celebration for, I'm proud to say, my friend Barry Manilow. And during the course of the show, Barry actually called in, and we had a lovely conversation. Now, if you didn't get a chance to see that, you can go to my YouTube channel, Billy Stritch. All the shows are there. Go to episode seven. Happy birthday, Barry Manilow. You can watch the whole thing. And I just ask that while you're there, if you haven't already, please take a second to subscribe to the channel. I, I broke 700. I'm trying to get to 1,000. It's a slow, the road is long. It's a slow climb. But uh, tell your friends to go to Billy Stritch YouTube channel. Anyway, Todd Foreman, take it away. Hey, Billy and Doug. Todd Foreman from Raleigh, North Carolina here. Congratulations on the one-year anniversary of Billy's Place. I'm a proud fanalo, and therefore I'm requesting a Barry Manilow song. Since the city is coming alive again, I thought Daybreak would be an appropriate song to play. Thanks again, and cheers. into the world, time with that spirit come in, let it come on in, I'm singing 
into the world. Everybody's caught in the spin. Look at where we've been. We've been running around year after year, blinded with pride, blinded with fear. But it's daybreak. If you want to believe, it can't be daybreak. Ain't no time to grieve. Yes, it's daybreak. If you'll only believe and let it shine, shine, shine all around the world. Sing to the world. What's the point in putting it down? There's so much love to share. I'm singing to the world. Don't you see it all comes around? The feelings everywhere. We've been closing our eyes day after day, covered in clouds, losing our way. But it's daybreak. If you want to believe, it can't be daybreak. Ain't no time to grieve. Yes, it's daybreak. If you'll only believe and let it shine, shine, shine all around the world. that song and it's perfect Todd thank you for that great request you know it is true New York is coming back now you know people have been asking me the past month when do you think Broadway's gonna come back when do you think the clubs are gonna come and, and I didn't have a clue I'm thinking oh next year sometime well we just got the announcement that tickets are going on sale this week and some shows are opening as soon as September so uh, <laughs> per Tug said, Perfect Crime is already open. Uh, yes, at the Theater Center. And also the, uh, the Office show is already open. There's some off-Broadway shows that are, that are coming open before that. But Broadway, September, is when the shows will slowly start trickling in and start opening up. And uh, it's just fantastic. So it is daybreak. It is uh, time to uh, be happy and... Uh, Everything seems like it's like it's uh, opening up again, and there's a rebirth, so it's kind of fantastic. I didn't mention this before, but uh, if you're able to contribute to Billy's Place, if you like the music that we've been doing and bringing you every week for the past year, uh, you know, contributions, tips are so appreciated, and it helps keep us going. It, 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 it pays for the balloons, I have to say, and it pays for the platform, and it pays for a lot of stuff. It pays for this apartment. What can I say? Um, uh, so anyway, um, tips. Are, some of you have been so loyal every week, and uh, I appreciate no amount is too large, no amount is too small, and uh, there are two ways you can donate, and they're at the bottom of your screen now. And uh, if you don't like to do that uh, digitally or through the internet, you can write me on Facebook Messenger, and I will send you an address where you can mail me a good old-fashioned check and that would be great, too. So um, I'm just going to keep moving on because we have a lot of ground to cover tonight, a lot of great requests. Uh, the next song is from one of my new Facebook friends, Suzanne Singer, requested this. This is one that uh, I recorded on my new album called Billy's Place. I recorded this in August in Nashville. It came out last October. A lot of you have purchased this. It's available on all the streaming platforms. I just found out it's now available. You can buy the physical copies at Amazon.com. They weren't there for a while, but now they are there. But if you'd like, but if you'd like a signed copy, you can uh, write me on my website and I will sign it and send it. What'd you say, Steve? Oh yeah, buy, I was gonna say buy it. Yeah, buy it. Doug said buy it from us because I'll sign it and I'll walk over two blocks to the post office and send it to you personally. <laughs> like that means a lot but anyway I'd be thrilled for you to have a copy of this uh, album and this is a song one of my favorite Hoagy Carmichael songs uh, forever 
that is on the album. So this is for my friend Suzanne. Suzanne, take it away. Hi, Billy and Doug. Happy anniversary. Um, one year of Billy's Place. Wow. Uh, thank you both for your time and talent during these uh, crazy times. Um, it goes without saying how much folks appreciate it. And uh, Billy, thank you so much for doing Skylock, uh, the request I asked for. Um, it's always been a personal favorite of mine, that uh, song and your arrangement is just um, exquisite. And uh, of course, your singing goes without saying. Uh, so again, thank you again. And um, Happy anniversary, and thanks again for uh, helping us uh, muddle through these times. Take care. Bye-bye. Skylark, have you anything to say to me? Won't you tell me where my love can be? Is there a meadow in the mist where someone's waiting to be kissed? Skylark, have you seen a valley green with spring where my heart can go a journey over the shadows and the rain to a blossom covered lane? And in your lonely flight Haven't you heard the music in the night? Wonderful music Faint as a will-o'-the-wisp Crazy as a loon Sad as a gypsy Serenading the moon Skylark I don't know if you can find these things But my heart is riding on your wings So if you see them anywhere Won't you lead me Thank you, Suzanne. I love that song, too. I'm so glad that was your request. It's uh, always been one of my favorite songs, as long as I can remember. Uh, so a uh, couple of happy birthdays. Uh, my good friend in Brazil, Marcello Sacrini, his mother Maria is having a birthday. I believe maybe it's today. And uh, so happy birthday, Maria. Uh, thank you so much. I, it's so amazing to me. Uh, finding out in the past year that uh, people are watching Billy's Place all over the world. I have uh, people who watch from South America, all over Europe. Uh, I, I don't know if I have anybody from the Far East yet. They haven't gotten in touch with me if they're watching, but uh, it would be really early in the morning to watch there anyway. But um, anyway, I'm so thankful for the international friends that I have. So Maria, happy birthday to you. 
my friend in uh, Miami, Charlotte, uh, it was your birthday, I believe, yesterday, maybe the day before, and I know you watch all the time, and uh, I appreciate that as well. And today is my friend Mark Ramsey's birthday, May the 6th. Mark Ramsey, good old friend of mine from Texas, he lives in Dallas, he used to live in New York, and uh, he made a request for the show this week, one of my favorite songs about New York. Mark, take it away. Billy, congratulations on a year of shows. Um, you know, this time last year, we were all feeling uh, very kind of alone and separated. And all of a sudden, um, you and several others started doing Facebook shows. We started to And, um, you know, that was a, an immeasurable service uh, that you provide for all of us. Grateful. Um, I have a selfish reason for for um, being grateful, and that is that I, I get to hear you play uh, from here in Dallas, when otherwise I'd have to be in New York City. So um, there have been, if there, if we can say there have been some positive things about COVID, that would be one. Um, I am requesting Sunday in New York. I think it's a quintessential New York song, and uh, New York is my second hometown. So. Um, Let's hear it. Thanks, Billy. Bye. New York on Sunday. Big city taking a nap. Slow down, it's Sunday. Life's a ball. Let it fall right in your lap. If you've got troubles, just take them out for a walk. They'll burst like bubbles in the fun of a Sunday in New York. You can spend time without spending a dime watching people watch people pass. Later you pause and in one of the stores have that face next to yours in the glass. Two hearts stop beating. Your boat to breathless to speak. When love smiles her greeting and the dream that is seeing you through the week comes true on Sunday in New York. Short nautical break, pair of boats by the lake for hire. Hey, if it should storm, you make it on home and get cozy and warm by a fire. By Monday morning, your boat, the greeting was fate. As day comes dawning, if you can't pick a spot or set a date, you met on Sunday. New York on Sunday, so make it Sunday in New York, in New York. Thanks so much, Mark, for that great request. That really is one of my favorite probably my favorite song about New York. And um, I first did that show, actually, the week before we started Billy's Place, I did, two weeks before, I did two little shows on a Wednesday afternoon. Uh, I had been doing shows with Linda Lavin on Wednesday, and then she decided to take a couple of weeks off, and I took over. And uh, so one of the earliest live stream shows on April 29th of last year, over a year ago, is when I sang New York on Sunday. So thank you for that great request. Um, just fantastic. Uh, now I have a good friend in Houston that I have known. I think I must have met Myra when I was maybe 20, 19 or 20, a uh, piano player, and she's a singer. And we got together and we worked, we would get together once a week or so and work on music. Fantastic singer. 
And then we lost touch for a long time. And then we, were, we became friends on Facebook. And then I went to Houston a couple of years ago to do a show with my friend Ann Hampton Calloway. And Myra came to the show. And so that's how we really became friends again. And she is a, she's a loyal watcher of Billy's Place. And uh, so she requested a great song that I did back on episode 10, which was my tribute to the music of Hal David and Burt Bacharach. Uh, back on July 8th of last year. Memory lane, right? Um, uh, just as a aside, I was going through the list of songs uh, and all the set lists, and in the last 46 shows that I had a few weeks off, in the last 46 shows of Billy's Place, I have sung for you 603 songs, not including all the times that I have sung the Billy's Place theme. So I, yeah, it's a, it's a lot of songs, and I'm sure there's going to be more to come. Anyway, this is from the Burt Backrack Show. This is Myra's request. So Myra, take it away. Hi, everybody. I'm Myra Ross, one of Billy's many, many Eastern friends. A year ago, Billy and Doug decided to produce a special gift for all of his fans. It's called Billy's Place. It has really made our spirits fly, as his song says. My uncle requests for Billy to sing is Burt Backrock and Hal David, The House is Not a Home. It is one of my absolute favorite songs, and Billy's performance is incredible. Happy anniversary, and I hope that there will be many more. A chair is still a chair Even when there's no one sitting there But a chair is not a house And a house is not a home When there's no one there To hold you tight And no one there you can't kiss good night. A room is still a room, even when there's nothing there but gloom. But a room is not a house, and a house is not a home. When the two of us are far apart And one of us has a broken heart Now and then I call your name And suddenly your face appears But it's just a crazy game when it ends it ends in tears darling have a heart don't let one mistake keep us apart
Thank you, Myra, for that lovely request. That was one of my favorite songs to do from that uh, Bacharach and David show. You know, I, I, I know that I'm going to be doing more Billy's Place shows, and I was going back through the, the song lists, and there are so many good songs that uh, I did just one time and never again. So uh, I think I might actually revisit some of those shows, do new versions, maybe another Bacharach and David show with some of the same songs and maybe some different things. Also, I definitely want to do another Peter Allen show with some of the things I did and some different things. And, uh, well, there's just lots of possibilities. And I always welcome your ideas and your requests and your suggestions because uh, believe it for me, take it from me, it is not easy to come up with fresh new ideas every week for a whole new show. So I know my friend Jace has requested TV themes. I'm definitely not ignoring that. I don't know if it's a full show, but I'm definitely going to do uh, put together a, a nice segment of TV theme songs. Uh, Billy Joel is in the mix. I'll probably be doing some of that in the next couple of weeks because his birthday is this month. Uh, so there are lots of there's still lots of ground to cover. So um, please, in the comments or on Facebook Messenger, I'm open to all sorts of ideas and suggestions. Uh, if you just joined us, it's Billy's Place. We're celebrating our first anniversary uh, of shows on Thursday night, and I'm so glad you're here to celebrate with us. If you're able to contribute to the virtual tip jar, uh, please do so. Don't hesitate. Don't postpone joy. Uh, go to Venmo or go to PayPal and uh, slip us a little money if you can because it's so appreciated and uh, it's so encouraging and it's so helpful in this age where there's not a lot of live gigs I've had a few. I've got a few coming up this summer. It's slowly starting to come back, but uh, this is still my main source of revenue, so uh, I so appreciate anything that you can offer. Uh, thank you so much. My friend Michael O'Hara, who lives in Canada uh, and has been watching me this whole time, uh, requested a great song. This is a song that I did in my very first online show, which was two weeks before the premiere of Billy's Place. It was on April 22nd of last year. It was one of those Wednesday afternoon shows. And I'm not sure I've done it. Maybe I did it one more time. I probably did. Uh, anyway, but it's been in my repertoire for a long time. You know I love Brazilian music. So uh, this is a Brazilian tune, and I was so happy to turn Michael on to this song. Michael O'Hara, take it away. Hi, Billy. Hi, Doug. Happy anniversary. One year of Billy's Place. Wow. It's Michael O'Hara from Toronto. Uh, I just wanted to thank you uh, both for bringing us such a fantastic uh, slice of entertainment, and especially in those early days of the pandemic when everything was so scary and so uncertain. Uh, Billy's Place was um, just such a wonderful rock to be able to count on. Uh, a grown-up Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, as I ex said in uh, one of the chats for one of the shows. Um, one of my favorite things about Billy's Place was not only listening to your wonderful singing and playing, but also learning things. You have such an incredible uh, musical knowledge, and one of the songs and artists that was new to me was Fleur de Lis by Javon, and I loved it so much. Uh, it's got that beautiful, beautiful, exuberant Brazilian swing to it. So for the one year of Billy's Place, the one year anniversary, I'd love to hear it. Thanks so much, guys. Bye. Because the world is upside down. I love you and the but this is much too much to bear. You don't believe in me. Sometimes you disappear. But even when you're near, you are so far away, so far away, so far away, so far away. Don't please. What is it I can do? Uh, I have my hopes it's true. Uh, and if it's my mistake to love you, uh, Please don't get me wrong, you know I'm not that strong. Make up your mind, oh please, I cannot live like this.
now it's your turn to show me you also have some feelings some feelings all i want is just the chance to love you and then you'll see me flying so high across the sky be who you are but please let me believe you are mine then you'll see me flying so high across the sky be who you are but please let me believe you are Is just the chance to love you, and then you see me flying so high across the sky. Be who you are, but please let me believe you're mine. Then you'll see me flying so high across the sky. Be who you are, but please let me believe you're mine. Then you'll see me flying. Oh, flying, oh, flying, oh, 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 then you see me flying so high across the sky. Be who you are, but please let me believe you're mine. Thank you, Michael, for that great request. Javon's Fleur de Lis, otherwise known in English as Upside Down. What a wonderful request. Thank you so much. So the next two songs kind of relate together because, uh, well, you'll see why. The first song is a song that I did. I've been doing it for a few years. I first did it with Barbara Cook years ago. Uh, uh, I did it on my show, uh, my very first, again, my very first afternoon show before Billy's Place, April 22nd. And then this past February 25th, I did it again in a request show. And my friend John Weber, uh, who's a fantastic, oh my God, he is the greatest accompanist and pianist. Uh, and he's my buddy. And he requested this. This is an old song that was uh, first recorded back in the 20s by Cliff Edwards, Ukulele Ike. And uh, it tells the story of uh, two dogs that, well, two people that meet in the park because of their dogs. The guy is too shy to go up to the girl, but they both have dogs, and the dogs are the ones that break the ice. You'll see what I mean. And then I dovetail, I'm, tonight I'm going to dovetail it into a song that uh, is a beloved song written by my good friend Melissa Manchester and her uh, wonderful co-writer Carol Bayer Sager. And uh, uh, the reason that I dovetail it in, uh, it I did it in a show about two years ago at uh, Feinstein's 54 Below. My friend Deborah Grace Weiner put together a show. Uh, it was called All About Dogs. And although this song was not written about a dog, if you think about it in those terms, you know, if you think about that little face, uh, well, you'll know. Um, I put it in that show because I thought it really made sense. Uh, so my friend John Weber requested the first song. And then my cousin, Nikki Robertson, and her husband, Bill, who now have a beautiful home in Tennessee, uh, and they're dog lovers, uh, they requested the second song. So I'm going to do these together, and we're going to play both of their uh, little videos side by side, and then I'll do both songs. Take it away.
Oh, we're gonna play the one from Nikki too, right? That's all right, it's okay. Yeah, we're gonna play two in a row. That's okay. <laughs> That's all right, I'm gonna play the, the, I'm gonna the first song. Nikki will play your video afterwards. Ready? <laughs> Pardon me, but if I may, I would like to speak to you. Maybe you have noticed, too, our dogs have learned to care. You can see it in their eyes. You can hear it in their sighs. Winchell mentioned it today. They are very much that way. My dog loves your dog. Your dog loves my dog. If our donkeys love each other, why can't we? My dog's a he dog. Your dog's a she dog. I wish he loved me the way that he loves she. Don't they look sweet every time they meet beneath their favorite tree? My big air tail wax his little tail to tell your terrier he's crazy to marry her. My dog loves your dog. Your dog loves my dog. If our doggies love each other, we can too. All night he's whining because he keeps pining. To be with her the way I'd like to be with you. I take him out and he runs about to see if she is in sight. By his nose he knows every place she goes. He calls to her, bow wow wow, I love you and how wow wow. My dog loves your dog. Your dog loves my dog. If our doggies love each other, why can't we? Look how she pets him. Look how she lets him play around the way I'd like to play with you. Chows and Pekingese who have pedigrees are crazy over my hound. But your little mutts simply got him nuts and he'd gladly give her his last piece of liver. My dog loves your dog. Your dog loves my dog. If our doggies love each other, why can't we? My dog, your dog. If our doggies love each other, why can't we? Now imagine that your sweet little doggy friend ran away from home and you've been desperate to find him and then all of a sudden on a rainy day he shows back up at the back door well hello there good old friend of mine you've been searching for yourself for such a long, long time. There's so much to say. No need to explain. Just an open door for you to come in from the rain. You can imagine it, right? It's a long road when you're on your own. And one like you will always choose the long way home. There's no right or wrong. I'm not here to blame. I just want to be the one to keep you from the rain. From the rain. And it looks like sunny sky. Now that I know you're all right, time has left us for good. But why 
This is the line that makes me think about the dog. And it's good to know my best friend has come home again. And I think of us like an old cliche, but it doesn't matter, cause I love you anyway. Coming from the rain. Now that I know you're all right, time has left us older, but wiser, I know I am. It's good to know my best friend has come home again. And I think of us like an old cliche, but it doesn't matter, cause I love you anyway. Coming from the rain, Nikki, Bill, this is for Mina. <laughs> Coming from the From the room. You want to play that? Or do you have it? Play the Nikki video? Do you have Okay, all right. So, Nikki, we didn't find your video, but my, my cousin Nikki and her husband Bill uh, love dogs. They have so many great dogs. And they lost their precious Mina last Friday. So that was for you, and that was for Mina. And uh, mwah, I love you both. I know what it's like. Oh, he found it. Oh, we'll play it for everybody. I want them to. Hi, Billy and Doug. Congratulations on one year of Billy's Place. I first heard you do Come In From The Rain um, in New York City. Uh, it is a show you did about dogs and songs about dogs. So I'd like to dedicate it to Mina. We lost her on Friday, and you sent such a sweet note about her. Um, thanks again for singing this for me. Love this song. You do such a great job on it. Um, thanks uh, for everything you do. Such a great entertainer. Um, thanks, cuz. Love you. That dog, that's good. She's my sweet cousin. You know, we, we probably met years ago when I was like maybe a teen, uh, but we never really connected, and we only just connected maybe in the last four or five years. And I love that we've made a connection. Uh, they've come to see me here in New York many times. They've come to see me in San Francisco. They've come to see me in San Diego. Uh, they are travelers. I love that. And they built a beautiful home in Tennessee. So, um, But they, they like to get out on the road. And she writes me about once a month. Well, Nikki, I think Broadway shows are going on sale next week. You can pro it's safe to say that you can come back in the fall now and see some shows anyway. So uh, anyway, I'm going to turn it over to my partner, my sweet birthday boy, uh, who I couldn't do this without. Uh, Doug's going to say a few words for you right now. Okay. Doug. Hi, everybody. Um, thank you all so very much for supporting our show through the past year. When we started last year and it was going to be on my birthday, Billy said, well, we'll make it a birthday celebration. And the news was so scary at the time. And I said to him, you know, 60,000 people have died. And I just don't think it's right to be celebrating a birthday. So let's not do that. And when the show was over, we took a walk down the street with the dogs, got a slice of pizza, stopped at the store on the way home and got a little Carvel ice cream cake. And it was just perfect and charming. This year, I'm ready to celebrate that I made it to another birthday, and that you all did too. And I'm so grateful for that, and I'm so grateful for Billy and Janet, because I, I had a really rough month in April, and the two of them took such good care of me, and I'm feeling better now. And I have a wish 
for my birthday. Um, I was my mother's Mother's Day baby, and I was born on a Friday morning at 7.30, and I talked to my mom the other day, and she asked if she could call me early on Friday to wish me happy birthday. Of course she can. Um, my mother is going in for a surgery tomorrow, and it's going to be all right, but it's a long, all-day affair. And, you know, we love our mothers, and we're just, I just want you all to send her some love. And uh, my other mother, Christine Green, who played my mother in Blood Brothers for two uh, rounds of the show, is also in the hospital in the same area as my mother. And uh, she's not feeling well, and we talked a lot. And um, just send these two beautiful ladies some love. And I hope they're feeling okay on Mother's Day. And thank you all so very much for watching our show. I love you guys. Oh, Doug. I love you, Doug. Doug, uh, yes, please send out uh, some good vibes to Charlene, uh, Doug's mom, and, uh, and his friend, Christine. Um, uh, yes, uh, last year, between last year and this year, well, it was scary, I have to say, this time last year on Doug's birthday when we did the show, we were only about two months into uh, COVID and uh, the news was not good. And uh, especially here in New York, you go down the street and it was just crazy and it was sad and it was boarded up and it was uh, scary. And uh, you know, we've all been through it. Anyway, here we are a year later um, and we've lost a lot of people I mean, I, I know I'm going to leave some people out, but, but in this past year, I've lost uh, some wonderful friends. My friend John Giswold passed away very suddenly, not due to COVID. Uh, my friend Valerie Reeves, a lifelong friend of mine, passed away, complications eventually from COVID. My dear friend Laura Overstreet, Laura Beering, uh, passed away in March. Uh, she was just a couple years, she was my high school sweetheart. Uh, she passed away. Um, and uh, I know those of you in the cabaret world uh, mourn the loss of our friend Rick Jensen who passed away. And there's been so many people that we have lost this year from COVID, also not from COVID, but it's been a, a very, very trying, sad year. Um, and we have, uh, hopefully all grown stronger through our grief and our sadness. Um, and uh, it's a privilege to be able to sing for you guys every week. <laughs> it's just really, I feel so lucky to be able to do this <laughs> for all of you every week. Uh, sorry, wow, woo. Because um, it should be happy. And music should be happy and uplifting and I'm just so happy to be able to be able to sing and to have my my dog to help me with it and all of you who support it and watch me every week anyway oh I didn't mean for that to happen <laughs> Jesus wow okay so moving right along we're gonna I'm gonna have a nice little break here because my friend Randy Brandon in Florida who's come to see me two times at the Wick I've been to the Wick end of January and then I was just there about a month ago and uh, she came to see me at the Wick Theater in beautiful Boca Raton and uh, she made a beautiful request for a song that uh, I wrote with Sandy Knox years ago but uh, it means a lot this year because oh, sorry uh, it's this song just seems kind of perfect for what we've gone through in New York on so many levels um, and anyway, um, it's a song called Since You Left New York. I recorded it on my album, Billy's Place, but I was very lucky about a year ago to record a video of it with uh, the fantastic Debbie Wildman, who lives in London, who is uh, such a gorgeous singer, and uh, we've not met in person, but I hope that we will soon. I want to work with her. She's so good. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Pull it together. Anyway, Randy, this song is for you. I'm going to play the video of Since You Left New York, written by me and Sandy Knox. 
Enjoy. Decided to cancel spring And that Manhattan moon Lost the shine it had before And I can't see the lights Of the skyline anymore That's how it's been Since you left New York days it's so hard to get around and that's how it'll be till you come back to stay no new year's eve in old times square no reason to celebrate if you won't be there so much to do here but it's all become a bore even the lady in the harbor has turned down her torch oh, that's, that's, how that's how it's been since you since you
Thank you so much, Randy, for that request. Oh, I pulled myself together. Okay, look, it's, uh, oh, my friend Rhonda Barco. Can you see this? Let me put this down here like this. This is so fabulous. You see this cake? It says, well, it says Billy's Place. Oh, my God. My friend Rhonda Barco, who is my physical therapist at 42nd Street, um, and uh, she's just such a dear friend, and we have reconnected this past year through Billy's Place. She had this made for Doug and I. Doug, come over here and blow the candles out with me. And Doug, I want to sing happy birthday to you because it is your birthday. <laughs> so you come, you come over here. He, he says he looks like a ghost. It's okay. Doug's, had, Doug's been not well, not so well the past month, but he's getting better. Um, and, and I'm going to make him eat this whole cake, and he's going to feel better. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Doug. Happy birthday to you. Pull it up. Who wants some cake? Look how gorgeous this is. It's gorgeous. I can't wait to eat it. Rhonda, thank you so very much for this gorgeous cake. All right. You take that. I'm going to get that set up. You you can put that wherever you Oh, yeah, because I met Rhonda this afternoon in front of, okay, how perfect is this, in front of Billy's Bakery on Columbus Avenue. Uh, she said, I've got this cake. Can you meet me? I said, I'm coming to get it. And uh, so we met, and that's my dear Wanda Barco, um, and me, and the cake this afternoon. And uh, I think it's in the that file. It says Rhonda Cake. You found it? Okay, good. Did you get the cake? So lots of, there she is. Lots of technical stuff. And uh, Randy Brandon, I'm sorry we couldn't find your video. But anyway, Randy Brandon is a fantastic singer. And thank you for that request of since you left New York. All right, I have a few more things to do, and the show is oh, we're gonna move move on because uh, so many good requests. Anyway, my dear friends who watch every week, and again, one of the great things about Billy's Place is the fact that I have met new people virtually. Uh, some of the, I mean, so many of you we have met virtually. We communicate all the time. You send wonderful notes and wonderful gratuities and contributions, and we write back and forth. And Annie Rebold, you are one of those people. You and your mother, Viv, are two very special people. I cannot wait till we can meet together and have a meal together and celebrate being actually together because I feel like we're going to be, well, we are great friends, but I feel like we're going to be wonderful friends. Annie and Viv requested this song that I did. It's a medley of two songs. I did it in episode 22, which was on October 8th. It was a, a show called Billy's Choice, you know, because it was songs I wanted to do. And then again, I did it on episode 41, March 11th, which was the day before my good friend Liza Minnelli's 75th birthday. This is a medley of two songs that Liza did, one of my favorite arrangements of hers, and uh, I thought I would do it as well. Anyway, Ann and Viv, take it away. Hi, I'm Annie Rebold. And I'm Viv Rebold. And, and we, we want to say, say happy, happy anniversary, anniversary Billy's, Billy's Place. Place. Thank you, Billy and Doug, for bringing us such joy every night this past very challenging year. Our request tonight is the medley, Here I'll Stay, followed by Our Love is Here to Stay. Both of these songs possess such poetic lyrics and soaring, beautiful melodies. Put them in the hands, voice, and talents of Billy Stritch, and you have a masterpiece. Take it away, Billy! The more I read the paper, the less I comprehend the world and all its capers and how it all will end. Nothing seems to be lasting, but that isn't our affair. We've got something permanent, I mean, in the way we care. 
There's a far land, I'm told, where I'll find a field of gold. But here I'll stay with you. And they say there's an isle deep with clover where your heart wears a smile all day through. But I know well they're wrong, and I know where I belong, and here I'll stay with you, for that land is a sandy illusion, it's the theme of a dream gone astray. And the world others know I can find loving you And so here I'll stay Our love is here to stay Not for a year, but ever and a day. The radio and the telephone and the movies that we know may just be passing fancies. And in time may go But oh my dear Our love is here to stay Together we're Going along, long. Time the Rockies may crumble, Gibraltar may tumble, they're only made of clay, but our love is here. It's more than clear, it's here to. Stay for that land is a sandy illusion. It's the theme of a dream gone astray, and the world others. I can find loving you and so Two fantastic songs, George and Ira Gershwin, Kurt Vile, Ira Gershwin. Uh, wow. Thank you, Annie. Thank you, Viv. Thank you for that great request. Um, and as I was singing it, I thought of another friend that I lost this past year, my fantastic singer-pianist friend from Dallas, Mark Carroll. And uh, I will always remember you, Mark. Um, fantastic. I have a special little message to play from... A dear, two dear friends of mine, um, my friends Jackie Joseph and her husband David Lawrence. They are dear friends of mine from L.A. You might remember Jackie from her appearances in so many movies in Little, Sh the original Little Shop of Horrors, 
which she told me they filmed in like a day or two days, crazy like that. And uh, she was on the Doris Day show, and um, she's just adorable. I've loved her, and I'm so glad we're friends. And her darling husband, David, and uh, they sent a little shout out that I want to play for you. So take it away, guys. Hi, I'm David Lawrence, and this is my lovely wife, Jackie Joseph Lawrence. Yes, hi. And hi. And we want to congratulate <laughs> Billy Stritch and Doug Major on the event of their 50th adventure called Billy's Place. Yeah, which is our, our thing we look forward to every week. It fills us with joy and happiness and surprises and amazement at the talent. We first met Billy and Doug in New York. When we were there, Jackie was doing a gig and uh, we, we felt, and we had a great evening uh, and our love affair with Billy Stritch and Doug was cemented forever. And continues. We want to see more of the show now. Uh, more singing. And thank you, thank you, thank you. We love you very much. <laughs> My phone rang in the middle of the show. I'm back. Um, so thank you, Jackie. Thank you, David. I love you guys. Fantastic. So speaking of Patellos and Jim and I coming out to work at Patellos, it might be premature, but it looks like we're going to be coming out there right after Thanksgiving uh, to do two nights, November 20, I think it's 28th and 29th, I'm pretty sure. So uh, the ink is not dry on the contract, but uh, I'm so thrilled because we love come to L.A. so much. Okay, so uh, thank you, sweet. I love you two so much. They watch me every week. I'm so thrilled. Uh, my friend Jennifer, our friend Jennifer, Jennifer Tonic, Tonic, who lives, well, normally she lives right on the other side of that wall. She's our next door neighbor, but uh, she spends a lot of time in San Diego with her mother Judy, and so she's been out there for the past, all through COVID, certainly. And uh, but she uh, flipped out over a medley that I I kind of hurled this together sort of at the last minute. I did a show on February 18th. Uh, I was on a kick of doing shows, uh, birth dates, Aquarians, because I'm an Aquarian. And so I did a show on February 18th and it featured some Aquarian songwriters. And one of those combinations, one of those Aquarian songwriters was a guy named Nacio Herb Brown. And he wrote with uh, Arthur Freed. And, um, of course, they all the music from that great mu mu musical Singing in the Rain is by the two of them. But what a lot of people don't realize is that all those songs that we love from that movie were written 20, 15, 20 years before at the very beginning of the talkies uh, when Arthur Freed and Nacey Herb Brown were just, uh, you know, journeyman songwriters at MGM. And so, you know, when Arthur Freed became the Freed unit at MGM, he hired Betty Comden and Adolph Green and all that great crew and said, I want to do a movie about the birth of talking movies and I want to use all the songs that I wrote back then. What a great idea. And it became Singing in the Rain. So I threw together a medley of songs from Singing in the Rain. My friend Jennifer loved it so much and so many people loved it. I was at the Wick Theater a month ago. I put it in the show. People really loved it. So uh, Jennifer, this is your request. Please take it away. Let me t tell me tell me why you like it. If anyone ever told me that I would think Gene Kelly, anyone could do something better than Gene Kelly, I would have said no. But when you did Singing in the Rain. It was so good that it surpassed anything I could have ever imagined. So here's my request. I would like you to do your singing in the rain medley. Singing in the rain medley. Thanks. Okay, bye. I've watched that about five times and I laugh every time. Okay, Jennifer, are you, I hope you've dried off since then. Anyway, here are the songs from Singing in the Rain. And as I go through them, I'll tell you what they were from originally. Mm -hmm. 
This is from the Hollywood Review of 1929. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm happy again. I'm laughing at clouds so dark up above. Um, the sun's in my heart, and I'm ready for love. Uh, let the stormy clouds chase everyone from the place. Come on with the rain, I have a smile on my face. I walk down the lane with a happy refrain, just singing, singing in the rain. This is from Sadie McKee. All I do is dream of you the whole night through. Joan Crawford sang this. With the dawn, I still go on dreaming of you. Your every thought, your everything, every song I ever sing. Summer, autumn, winter, and spring. And where there were there more than 24 hours a day, could they be spent in sweet content? Dreaming away when the skies are gray, the skies are blue, morning, noon, and nighttime, too. All I do the whole day through is dream of you. You were meant for me. Broadway Melody of 1929. I was meant for you. Nature patterned me and when she was done you were all the sweet things rolled up in one you're like a plate of melody that never sets me free but I'm content the angels must have sent you and they meant you just for me for the Broadway melody of 1936 you are my lucky star I saw you from afar two lovely eyes at me they were beaming gleaming I was starstruck you're all my lucky charms. I'm lucky in your hearts. You've opened heaven's portal here on earth for this poor mortal. You are my lucky, lucky star. Babes in Arms, 1939. Good morning, good morning. We've talked the whole night through. Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning. It's great to stay up late. Good morning, good morning to you. When the band began to play, the stars were shining bright. Now the milkman's on his way. It's too late to say goodnight. So say good morning, good morning. Some beams will soon shine through. Good morning, good morning to you. Let's take it home. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a great, what a glorious feeling. I'm happy again. The sun's in my heart, so dark of above. The sun's in my heart. I'm getting ready for love. Let the stormy clouds chase everyone from the place. Come on with the rain, I have a smile on my face. I walk down the lane with a happy refrain. Just singing, singing in the rain. 
Bring him in the rain. Jennifer, that is for you. And I'm so glad, you know. You were the one that said you loved it, and I should do it in my show, and I did it at the Wick, and they seem to like it there, too. So uh, it's going into uh, rotation for my show. Uh, you guys, this has been a fantastic show. Oh, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swing it over to Doug. He wants to say something more. Hey, yeah, hello, ladies and gentlemen. So our uh, apartment was kind of cursed technically today. Even our friend Janet came in and her phone suddenly stopped working, and then it went on in the middle of the show. Um, we were gonna do some giveaways, and this morning I just said to Billy, I can't, I can't do anything else. I, I'm just, my brain's not working right. So I found these pictures when I was gonna talk about my mother, <laughs> having you just sit and look at Billy, and I found them. <laughs> so I just wanna show you these and explain a little bit. Um, this is my beautiful mother's engagement picture oh uh, and I remember being a little kid and she tell me all about the day she had that done and how the pearls weren't real they painted them on <laughs> and I just loved it so much and one day one of our neighbors came over to visit and she saw the picture and she said who's that and my mother said that's me and she goes Charlene what the hell happened to you <laughs> oh that's <laughs> nice really classy <laughs> nice we laughed. yeah and a few years ago I was ta talking to my mom I said you know when your time is up I'd like to have that if you don't mind. And she sent it the next day. <laughs> she said, I know. It's like now we have the picture. It's like her time's not up, but we have to go. Okay. And then here's um, my mother, Christine, from Blood Brothers. I was talking to her the other night, and I pulled that picture out and sent it to her. And um, she's just a lovely person, and we did that show together twice. And it was just so much fun playing her, her son, Mickey. And I told her, and as Mickey, this is how I feel this weekend. <laughs> and that's when she's covering me with her coat at the oh, end of the dead. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah. those are those pictures. Um, oh, Doug. Yeah, and I'm sorry we didn't, we're not doing the giveaways. We gave away the giveaways. because We gave away the giveaways. And, you know, I started to think it was, it was complicated, and I didn't want to give anybody unfair advantage on the giveaways. And so it just became complex. So forgive us if you were expecting giveaways because – but if you if you did want to know the answer to the question that I posted yesterday about who brought us margaritas, it was Linda Lavin. She brought us margaritas. So in a future show, we might do giveaways, but uh, not tonight. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the anniversary show with all the fantastic requests. I want to thank the dozen friends of mine who sent beautiful videos. Um, it really means a lot to know that you you know all of you have been watching all year. And so many of you, um, you know, I, I, I wish I could do a six-hour show and have all of you on the show. But we will revisit this concept again, I feel sure. Uh, in the meantime, I have one more song to go, but I wanted to say before we go just one more time uh, that if you are able to contribute to the virtual tip jar, if you enjoyed the evening tonight and you've enjoyed the shows that I have, that Doug and I have given you this year, uh, uh, please uh, feel free to be generous and send us 20 or 10 or 100 or a million. Uh, anyway, at PayPal or Venmo, uh, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for uh, joining us tonight for episode 47 for our one-year anniversary, and we will see you very soon. I'm going to close with a song that was requested by one of my longtime fans, my friend, uh, Henning Jare, who lives in uh, Europe, he lives in the Netherlands, and uh, he, um, you know, uh, 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 requested this this song. So, take it away, Henning. Hi, Billy. Hi, world. This is Oslo, Norway, calling. And yes, we see Billy's place even here in Scandinavia. Congratulations with a year of streaming. That's very nice of you, isn't it? And we, are, we are very fortunate to have you. And uh, yes, I would like you to do I Could Go On Singing with Judy Garland. That's her mature best. And I know that you do it so well. So I could go on singing, please. Thank you. As I said, the Netherlands, I was thinking Norway. And now I'm confused. And uh, we've been Facebook friends for a long time. So I just, uh, I'm, I'm a little, huh? He's, he's Norway, yes. He's Nor I know, I knew when I said it, it was wrong. So Henning, 
Uh, you stayed up all this time. My God, it's almost three o'clock in the. It's two thirty in the morning. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Here's your song to close out the show. It's a perfect way to close the show because it kind of sums up the way I feel after a year of shows and more shows to come. So this is a great song uh, from a great movie from uh, Judy Garland and uh, back in the 60s. When a dove is in love with the doll of a dove, he is out all night cuckooing. When an owl's on the prowl for a feminine fowl, he is out all night woo-wooing. Every bird and bee has his lunacy in the way he works his dream off. But when I feel high, here's the way that I like to let my kind of steam off. Owls woo-woo, other side, doves cuckoo, ah, but I, I could go on singing till the cows come home. Then the rooster starts to crow, crow, crow. When I see your eyes, I go all out. I must vocalize till you shout enough already. I could go on singing till the moon turns pink. Everything from Faust to ink, cutting, cutting. Love does funny things when it hits you this way. On singing like a lark going strong with my heart on the wings of a song singing day. I could go on singing to the cat. starts to crow, crow, crow. When I see your eyes, I go all out. I must vocalize to you shout enough already. I could go on go on singing uh, till the moon turns pink everything from Faust to ink I think I think love does funny things when it hits you this way I could go on singing like a lord going strong with my heart on the wings of a song singing day. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much.